All right, premium backer beta. I paid out the ass when I kickstarted this game. Let's see if it's any good. That continue game is because I did a test thing and I saw like five seconds and nothing else. Anyway. I don't know what that means. But I like themes. It's taking too long. Patience. Patience. I don't see what patience has to do with this. It should have happened by now. Life keeps to its own. Is that Jennifer Hale? Oh, it doesn't stop us from trying. Good morning. Your ruler has risen. Rejoice and let bellow the horns of birth. Right. I know how strange all of this looks. But there's an easy immortal protector of the nation, progeny of the great bloodlines, master of strategies, eternal conductor, and forger of matrimony. We're here to advise you on how to handle ruling and commanding. What the f well, definitely in beta. Of battle. Oh, maybe it was supposed to be cut off. We'll have to do this later. The cadence is attacking. Heroes, jump in. Get in there. The ruler will be with you shortly. And off they go. We'll explain later. We just need you to take command because our citizens, understandably, find it hard to trust a giant talking chalice. We are not just a giant talking. But the nation will listen to you because you're of their blood. Forge from the bloodlines of the great houses. Oh, and one last thing. Unfortunately, the bloodline ritual that was used to create you also bound you to us. So you can never leave the throne. But do not despair. You can still command your heroes. Look inward, and you will find that your mind can follow them anywhere. Are none of those people confused? Because I'm confused. You see your heroes yet? Yeah? Great. Yeah. Now, take command and search the area. Cadence is out there somewhere. The Cadence? Why do I why do I want to pick on a girl named Cadence? Here you have the hunter. Attacking at close range is good, but attacking from afar where one can think and plan is better. If you listen closely, you might be able to hear your group leaving you behind as you line up that perfect shot. Actually, the hunter will be in front of the group, stealthily scouting ahead. Is that what they say they're doing? Okay. Ah, you found one of our alchemists. A brilliant mind in a delicate body. Not worth much in a close quarters battle, but they make up for it with their nasty exploding flasks. Just watch out for friendly fire. The explosions are big, so aim well or keep your heroes back. Trust us, you don't want to be on the receiving end of one of their concoctions. Okie dokie. Fourth. Or destination to move. I want to move this way. Can I not? How far can I move? Just that far? What the fuck is this thing? Sure, why not? Burst bush. Oh, I saw that coming. God damn it. I wish I had actually paid any fucking attention before I, I did that, that thing I did. Go this way. Ah, here we are. First catch of the day. We can't tell you much about the Cadence because not much is known. It's old, first sighted centuries ago. It cares only for destroying our nation with its corruption. That's where pawns like you see here come in. Think of them as attack dogs the Cadence creates to spread corruption in the world. Nope. I want you to move this way. I'm not very good at strategy, guys.
What the fuck is that? That could have been avoided. That could have been worse. At least they belong to heroic death islands. Ah. Oh. One okay. down, untold millions to go. So I gotta be real careful, like. Blow it up. You missed. You suck. That's uh, quite some range. Oh, I thought I was clicking closer to the things. Okay. Okay, so that's like your move and attack versus just your move. I get it. Up, two, three, four. Cowards! No, you can give a fuck. Let's do this. Seeds. Arguably the lowliest of forms are more nuisance than menace. But if you're going to remember one thing, don't let those runts form a posse. Keep them apart. Otherwise, it'll be like when caber jacks get together at a tavern. Except not the best night of your life. I'm gonna try again. Kablamo! I am wasting all of my shit. You poo head. Minus experience. That sucks. Now you die. Oh, maybe not. Your turn. I probably should see if there are any shortcuts to clicking so I don't have to confirm everything because that's taking a long time and I don't like it. I'm gonna break the one cardinal rule and I'm gonna split the party. What's over here? Whoa now. Are you fucking kidding me? You're worthless. What's your name? Robert Chase. Oh, so they just kind of totally fucking miss sometimes. I see now. Bring it! Oh shit, goodbye. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! I like that. Percentage hit chances and everything. Nothing's really hidden from you. You are just gonna go this way. I'm done fucking with the bushes. That's really dumb. So, fun story. I actually met the lead designer of this game at GDC. We were there for school. I went to a game development school, if anyone didn't know that. And we sat down to watch the GDC Game Developers Choice Awards, and they sat down, Brad Muir and a few of the other Double Fine guys sat down right behind us. They showed us a screenshot of Trenched just before it was actually announced, and then they let us in on some of the little secrets about a uh, brutal legend and how it was supposed to turn out. I can't share what any of those are because he told me not to. But it was pretty cool. And he's a pretty cool dude. He added me as a Pokemans on LinkedIn and everything, so... I'm kind of happy to support his game. 
I thought the idea sounded pretty badass too. No. My team is dying. No, I'm really bad at strategy games. I don't think y'all understand just how bad I am. Good, good, that one's dead. You, you bombed the fuck out of that one. Please don't throw it right in front of your face. God, this is why you never have a goddamn alchemist in, like, D&D &D or anything. Because they blow up the whole goddamn party. Oh, shit. Okay. They seem to have decent defense against the bullshit. Go kick. Oh, fuck me. Okay. Pew pew! Oh, thank God. Okay. So this game is a little bit XCOMy. Better than I expected. Shut up. Well done. Well done. I knew you'd have a knack for this. Died at 27. Died at 19. Oh, how young. Okay, it's a little bit uh, XCOMy in how your whole team can die pretty easily if you're not really careful. So this is our nation, and as we said, we are not in the best of shape. That muck you see surrounding us is the Cadence. It's what created the pawns, corrupted our lands, and is slowly tightening on us like a noose. But we do have one advantage. Thanks to several enchanted materials that make up our body, we've been endowed with certain powers. One of them being a way to cleanse the Cadence from this world. It's really quite a miraculous process, wherein we harness the properties of- The thing is, it takes a long time for us to charge up for this. A long time. All of the heroes you just commanded in battle will be long gone when we're finally ready. And with all that time still ahead, we need you to protect us. You will take charge of the nation, command its citizens worthy of becoming heroes, and ensure that the Cadence does not reach the capital. Neat. Now let's check out that keep you just saved. Okie dokie. The keeps. Bloodline forgers of the nation. The stonemasons did good work here. I'll thank them later. Here you will appoint one hero as a regent and one as a partner. Hmm. The more experience they have, the more they'll pass on to their children. That goes for traits and personalities too. Everything's game. And keep in mind, assigning heroes to keeps retires them from combat. You can't have one foot at home and one in the battlefield. I like this person's name. So they are going to run this place. Why the fuck not? Now that your regent is appointed, it's time to decide on a partner. Although this isn't an arrangement out of love, who knows? Maybe it'll turn into that. I've seen it happen. Personality, traits, experience, they're all important here. But just because this is an arrangement of necessity doesn't mean you should reduce these heroes to a pile of numbers either. They deserve better than that. Okay. So, apparently, I can just... Oh, I see. Chance for children. Okie dokie. Um... Lacrist Agarest, Jessica Fletcher, Victoria, Victoria Killinger. She's an alchemist. All average fertility. Hmm. Which one's the hottest? She's only 15. Oh my god. Oh, medieval times and all that. 26. Uh, there you go, you're both hunters, you got a lot in common. That'll do it. Many happy returns. Let's give the newlyweds some privacy, eh? Hmm. 
Neat. It's a lot to take in, but you'll handle it, or your mind will become as cracked as our body. You'll be fine. Now then, please join us back at the capital so we can show you some of your other responsibilities. So basically, it's like XCOM meets Rogue Legacy meets uh, Chocobo breeding. I like it. I like it a lot. And so far. Welcome back. You are here, right? It's a little hard to tell if you're still in your mind's eye or whatever. This why is, is where your heroes return Why to is it different battle. chalice art? From here, you may equip them with any skills or weapons they may have earned as well as perform research. Basically, we can devote some of our power to help the war effort and the nation. Whether it's building new keeps, starting a sage rights guild, or a standards crucible. Fun stuff. Heroes! Active. Many, many heroes. Next time I have a keep, I'm gonna try to put two girls or two guys together, even though I won't have any children, just to see if it lets me. Progressivism and all that. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here, so fuck it. Research. Building more keeps is likely the most pressing option, as you'll be able to foster more bloodlines. But don't shun the other possibilities. With your approval, we can research weapons, potions, armor. If the amount of time required dissuades you from researching something, consider the Sage Rites Guild. Any hero who joins the Sage Rites will hasten the time required for any pursuit. Neat. You will never see combat again. Keep in mind, most of our power is focused on charging up to cleanse the Cadence, so we can only devote enough energy to research one thing at a time. That includes searching for new heroes. It takes a lot of effort to find people attuned with us, and it'll only get harder the more we do it. But choose whatever you want. Um, you know, I'm just gonna give everyone armor so I can wade into battle like a dumbass and maybe not die. Cause that's how I do. Great. Oh, yeah, one more thing. The end of this war is not even a glimpse on our horizon yet, but your immortality gives us an advantage. The ability to step back and let time pass. You can start and stop this timeline at will, but we'll also stop it for you should something require your attention. Like a cadence attack. That is a probable possibility. Nido. Let's just do that. Ooh, fun. The horns of birth. A cause for celebration indeed. A ruse. You've been born before today. And it was glorious every time, was it not? What, unbearable shrieking and smells that are even worse? Finally, oh. Some action. As you have no doubt surmised by now, it takes time for the Cadence to create its pawns. So they're only able to attack every few years. Unfortunately, you cannot fight back multiple incursions at the same time. Our primary focus oh. is charging up to destroy our enemy, and we can only allot enough of our energy to send out one group of heroes at a time. Pawns don't last long outside of the Cadence either. So even if you win one battle, it'll be too late to fight the other. Choose wisely and blow the horns! That sounds yeah. a little bit like my text message notification noise. Anyway, so that's like the tutorial -y part of the Massive Chalice beta. I'm sorry, premium backer beta. Uh, see you next time.